Well, today is the day. We are getting insulation put in this building today and uh, they are backing up the trailer over here and they're gonna get ready to get everything unloaded. So let's go inside and just show you what we got going on. We're gonna be putting two and a half inch insulation all across the top. We're gonna be putting two inches all around the sides. We gotta make sure they get above there really good because that'll be a void if they don't. Up here on the ceiling, you notice I put these brackets on. These are gonna be for my trolley system. And no, I didn't get pictures of that or video of that rather because the uh, internet haters would be hating on me because, um, well, didn't want to give them a reason to hate on me. So I just didn't film that. Um, yeah, I would get some hate over that. But these guys are just about getting ready to go. So let's go figure out what's going on. They've got their own generator. That thing's kind of loud. Now here's an interesting thing. Right now it's, despite my short sleeves, it is 48 degrees. 48 degrees out here means it's actually a little bit too cold to apply the chemicals for this closed cell installation. So what they've got to do, they've got to warm the, the, the temperature of their uh, mix up so that it'll be warm enough to actually work properly. And the best temperature for that is 110 degrees. So what they've done is they have a little heater that they have in their trailer that's gonna heat everything up and keep it warm so that it comes on good and sticks and does its job. And in case you're not familiar, spray foam is like a two part uh, mix and they come through the nozzle and as they mix on the end, it creates a chemical reaction and it expands. So they put on a little thin foam little thin layer of foam and it'll expand out to the required thickness. Of course to make everything good they're going to tape everything up. We're going to be putting plastic over all the windows, all the stuff where we don't want foam to get on. They're going to get up here and they're going to close in the little gaps on the ceiling and we're going to put some fiberglass up there so that we don't fill up all this. Ooh my big finger's big. Ooh, look how big my finger is. We're going to fill up that way they don't fill up this gap right here that's in the eave so because that's going to take up a lot of product and i don't want to be paying for extra product that isn't going to be used even though i have a flat rate uh, price for this um you know unforeseen circumstances and that sort of thing you know we don't want to be hit with any surprise bills at the end so we're going to make sure none of that gets filled up with foam it does it could be a take a lot just to build these eaves if they do plus it's going to make it hard for my security cameras later on so that's what we're going to do they're going to be youtube stars <laughs> One of the things we did is put this little foam and seal up all these spots so it doesn't go out and go outside the house. There again, we're just gonna fill up all these spots so the foam doesn't go outside the building and it stays all inside and you get a good air seal. So everything is taped up and sealed. They'll be filling this wall with two inches. They'll be filling the ceiling up there with two and a half. And that way, you know, get a good finish you don't have the stuff going out these guys are acting really professional and i tell you what they're, they're doing so far I'm, I'm very impressed with the way they're working and uh you know so far so good we'll see um but uh, let's, got a lot long way to go yet and make sure you have your mask PPE is very important whenever you're spraying this stuff. It's got all casting, you got you don't want to get that crap all over you. So you know it's, it's hot, it sticks, it can burn, you know, it's a mess. Nobody wants to deal with that.
And now here they're greasing up the faces of the metal so that the foam doesn't stick to the face of the metal so that when we come in here, the foam will just peel right off the face of the metal. And now I'm gonna just leave it with them because that stuff has got an awful smell and you know, it's like, ah, don't wanna deal with that. I don't wanna get that mess on me. They got everything covered up in there. I'm gonna let them deal with it. They're the professionals. Not me. And just like that, they are gone. They were coming in, they got everything sprayed, they got cleaned up. Said it was gonna be a two day job, it ended up being one day. Man, these guys are fast. But they sprayed all up in here. They put a grease down here so all this stuff here would come off good. So now we have a nice clean surface for everything to mount. And up on the ceiling, now we have two and a half inches, actually probably a little bit more if you pay close attention and wow you really can't appreciate how cool this is to have this whole thing done and i'm just really excited to have this all done because now we're going to move on to our next phase actually i'm going to start putting some stuff in here because I've got to, I gotta get some stuff out of the house and get things cleaned up. But I'm gonna put it in here, that's fine, we got plenty of room. I'll still have room to go ahead and do my loft in here and get all my uh, shelving and, and electrical and all that stuff done. But uh, this part is done. It was uh, a long time coming, I'm glad to see it done. And uh, now we're gonna move on to something else. So that's all I got for now, see you in the next one.